Good afternoon everyone. Today we have our 1998 Grady White 272 Sailfish powered by twin 225 horsepower Yamaha OX66 engines. They are the fuel injected two stroke motors. Uh, tried and true motors for Yamaha. They'll run and run and run as long as you treat them right. I believe there is hour meters for both motors. I think there are 600 and so hours, but I'll confirm once I'm in the boat. My apologies, I don't remember exactly. Uh, boat comes with all the nice factory options. Hard top, bow pulpit. In this case, it also has a newer Lumar windless anchor. With an anchor as well. The, the bow also drops down. I forget what they call that, where the bow uh, pulp it actually flexes when you release and it helps uh, keep the boat keep the anchor off your bow pulpit. Boat also has a full canvas enclosure in good condition front curtain, two side curtains and the back curtain uh, this Grady or the 272 sailfishes come loaded with all different fishing options there really is a uh, lot to choose from on this boat. Uh, boat has an integrated swim platform with a swim ladder on the port side. Hydraulic steering. Hydraulic trim tabs. Boat also has a walk-through transom door, which is nice, or a fish box door. So if you catch something larger, you can come right through here. That's what everyone's dream is, at least, when they're when they buy their boat, right? Catch a big tuna. All the upholstery in the boat's in pretty good condition. Not brand new, but no rips, no tears. Just uh, so a little bit of wear. Bolsters. We also have the cushions for these. This uh, bench seat back here. Triple batteries with switches. Very clean bilge area. Air rated live well. This is a big one. It'll hold a lot of bait. Has a little bit of uh, typical Grady cracking on the hatches, but that has been filled so it won't get worse there. Stainless steel rod holders, self bailing cockpit, non skid throughout. Raw water wash down, fresh water tank, shore power hookup over there in that corner. You also have a little wash uh, hose here on the transom uh, when you fill up the fresh water tank. The boat, I believe, holds 160 gallons of fuel. I'd need to double check that. Twin insulated coolers or fish boxes on both sides. Port and starboard. Tackle storage on the, on the other side. This one is just more. You got some storage there. Twin ladder back seats with cushions. Both cushions on the ladder back seats are in good condition. You just take a step up to the helm. And uh, you really sit tall on this boat. It really feels very comfortable. Boat motors have 620 and 635 hours on it. Starboard motor 635, port motor 621. After today it'll be 21. Hydraulic chin tabs, your windless anchor control, digital tachometer, speedometer, fuel gauge, and a fuel management um, they're all re readable and legible, not sun faded and cracked, which sometimes they get if the sun gets to them too much. VHF radio, hummingbird depth finder up there. The previous owner just upgraded this last season to a Garmin Echo Map DV. Looks like an 8 inch screen. A GPS fish finder. I think it's it's not touch screen, but I thought it might be. More space for electronics in here, as well as up there. Does not, it used to have 
hydraulics, I'm sorry, uh, autopilot system that no longer works and does not come with, I mean that comes with it, but it does not currently have autopilot. JVC radio with a remote to the radio here that still functions. We'll go into the cabin here. Inside the cabin, there's plenty of standing space in here. I'm 5'10 and definitely a 6'1, six 6'2 foot six foot person could stand up in here without ducking their head. Um, all the manuals are right here. Microwave, refrigerator, both worked on 12 volt power and shore power. I think this is a stove here, little alcohol stove. Wash sink. Your little, here's the seat for the back, um, back bench seat. Here's your little aft cabin with cushions for additional storage or someone wanted to take a nap in there, they certainly could as well. Shore power right there. Por enclosed head, which is nice for a fishing boat, with a uh, Japsco automatic flush toilet, plenty of space on the bee berth for laying down, uh, the cushions look to be in good condition, they look to be replaced, they're not originally uh, Grady Factory, but they uh, look nice. Storage under each of these as well. Headliner shows very little stain, only stains you have it right here. Um, the rest of it shows very good, no mold or mildew inside here. Nice, clean, older boat here guys. Well taken care of over the years. And uh, ready to go, ready to go fishing. Boat does almost wide open 43 miles an hour and cruises all day long between 30 and 33 miles per hour with the 225s. Great, great power package on these. I forgot to show you the windlass, but it has a cover up there, but uh, it's in good condition, nice and shiny, stainless steel Lumar windlass. everything guys but there's a lot of options on this boat I didn't touch on everything but I got almost all the big ones all fuel uh, two-stroke motors do stroke when they first start up they will have blow by but once they're up and running they don't smoke nearly as much as this right up on plane He's going to open her up down the fairway here. Once again, the uh, twin 225 is just a great power option on this boat. We sell boats for less guarantee. We encourage you to shop our prices. You can follow us on our Facebook page, YouTube channel, and for the most up-to-date listings, our webpage at mmboats.com. Our update changes constantly, and we do like to focus on Grady Whites. But we sell lots of other boats as well. Give us a call if you have more questions. And thanks for watching, guys.